Hey guys, this is Sean. Yeah, I'm Jason. Together we are the Horn Beater Brothers. Hey, it's all the boys. Hey, cool. Salud. Skol. So, um, we haven't done this for a while. So, hey, hey, uh, hey, Sean. Yes, sir. How do you feel about this product? Yes. Okay. So I will let you introduce them. Have fun. Okay. So what we have here on the table is Badger. I don't know what a badger sounds like, so I can't do No, we're not in that. No. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we have an oil and a mustache wax, and yes, I actually did use this this time, guys. <gasps> yes, I know. It's a miracle. Shocker. I, I won't tell anyone, don't worry. <laughs> so the biggest thing we always have to say during the time we purchase these products, okay? Prices are. I'll tell them what they have for them, John A. <laughs> the oil was $13.99, a little bit up there for only a one fluid ounce, by the way. Don't let the size of the vial mislead you. The wax was $13.99. And uh, I'm not the wax expert, but I'd say that's a little high, right? It, it is high for a that mustache size? wax. Yes, it is. Um, same thing, it is a 0.75 Ooh, ounce. So not even a one ounce. Not even a one ounce. So let's keep that in mind, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna move the packaging out of the way. We already opened them and just kind of do a little, there we go. Uh, good job. Sir. First shot, you like yes, that? Yeah. I learned from our director. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. I'm not going to. <laughs> Hands up, okay. I remember we, if you haven't seen our videos, we recommend watching them. Uh, we, we have fun. That, that, that's the bottom line. We have fun doing these. So on that note, I will let you discuss the scent. I'm not going to let you live that down, man. <laughs> oh, you like you haven't done that. I know. Okay, so what we got out of the scent is cinnamon whiskey. If you're old enough, aftershock. Aftershock. If you're not... Quite our age, fireball. Fair, fair assessment. Yeah, that, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah, that's all. And uh, uh, that's obviously not for everybody. No. You know, I can't speak for everybody, but there's been a Sunday morning or two where I've woken up and been like, oh, I don't want to smell aftershock. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. 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 We'll just oh, go there. That we got a new sound. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> And Jason, please tell us, what does the wax smell? What did we agree on? This is so funny, this is awesome. What did we agree on that it smelled like? Oatmeal slash shortbread cookies. Yes. It, it, you're, it makes your mustache smell like a cookie. I'm, I'm not lying. Which is a good and bad thing? Yeah, especially if someone's hungry and they're like, your mustache smells like cookies. Om nom nom nom. Yeah, no. Depends on the person telling you that, I guess. It was you. Um, no, it wasn't, it's a joke. No. Remember, we have fun. You have to have fun. So we'll go ahead. Let's move on. Um, I'm going to let you handle the oil because we, we both know I handle a lot more of the, yes. the mustache wax. So I'll go for it. Throw my two cents in when we do the wax. Go for the two cents on the oil. Uh, like we said, cinnamon whiskey, mm -hmm. which is not everybody's bag. We understand that. We get it. Um, it is on the thicker side as far as oils go. You know, it's... It definitely has some thickness to it, uh, consistency. You really have to kind of get it in there. Yeah. You know, so there is no dropper on this guy. No, so there's not a normal dropper. There's not an inverter. We're actually gonna show, look at oh, that. Oh, thank you, impressive, thank impressive. you. So I can't tilt this too much, but we have nothing. It is wide open. And so when he says wide open, this is gigantic. Or oil. Yeah. Um, You're going to spill half that. There you go. No, no, you, you put the oil on your finger. Now you know what you got to do. Can't waste it. <laughs> Live demo, guys. We, we love it. So we're going to cap that so it doesn't go all over the table and the director slash woman of the house doesn't beat us. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, the one thing we did have, y y we got to share one thing that we did have in common. Even though it's a thick oil, it dries out fast. Yeah. That That's one thing that kind of 
troubled us is a thick oil usually lasts pretty long. This did not. Because twofold normally on the thick oil, first of all, they're normally, it takes a lot to work it in. Yeah. You're working it in for a little bit. And normally you can feel it on there for a while. Yeah. But when it soaks up like that and then you don't get any hydration feel out of it, that's where the problem lies, yeah. right? Big time. No, absolutely. So now moving on to the <laughs> wax. So even though the wax itself is pretty thick, it actually has a okay hold. I actually think you're being generous and saying okay hold. Oh wow. Because okay. uh, I, I actually didn't think it had a very, it was a weird combination of things that has super strong scent, but not a great hold. As, I mean, Jason, I will defer to you. My personal experience was it did not have a great hold for me. So Correct. And I think that's one thing that, like we said, we two different people, kind of the like mine and sanity, but different preferences and everything. So I had an okay hold, but the one thing we did agree on, it smells great. Yeah. It, it, the, the overall scent of the cookies. shortbread oatmeal cookies, it, <laughs> it was good. So the scent is there, but the hold is not. So a, mu a good mustache wax should use a little bit, and I mean stiff as a board. Or we can go stiff as a board, light as a feather, if anyone wants to say that movie. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we, we do have to keep that in mind. So now let's go ahead and move on. Of, of course, you can't use them together because one is an oil, one is a mustache wax. So let's keep that in mind. We recently today discovered they do make a balm, but we're probably not going to buy it. Just, no. just, just, just to go there now. So uh, it is made in the USA. If I'm not mistaken, according to labels, it's made in New Hampshire. Yeah, New Hampshire? I, you knocked it over finally. I knew you were going to do uh, it. Okay, so what are your overall thoughts? Uh, you know, I actually think they could pull back from the scent a little bit. I would like the mustache wax to be actually a stronger hold. And well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you delve into the dropper aspect. Oh, gosh. Okay, so first things first. Don't sell an oil that does not have a form of a dropper. Inverter, external, squeeze, even if it's a, it doesn't matter. A wide open is going to basically be to the point that you don't know how to control it. Especially don't sell it the size of a half dollar. Yeah, pretty much. That's going to be, instead of a super soaker, it's going to be a fire hose. That, that, that's the great, you know, right there. Now, ironically, too, the only place I've seen this is, remember, we do live in Southern California. I've only seen it in Sprouts. I haven't seen it in anywhere else yet. And only Sprouts. For, God, for you people who don't, aren't in our area and don't know what that is, it's uh, more of a... Uh, Whole Foods, Trader, yeah. Joel, Trader Joe's. Trader Whole Joe. Foods would be probably... Trader Joe? Trader Joe. Sorry about that. Trader <laughs> not, Joe's. Not Trader, not Trader Joe. Trader Joe's. <laughs> Or Whole Foods for the wider audience, because I think Whole Foods is generally... It's a little bit more popular. It's more yeah. like health food place, I guess you would say. Yeah. So with that, though, moving on, what score do you think we should give Badger? Well, I, it is a good product. It has some flaws, yes. I think they're moving in the right direction. I don't think we can say this is a definite home run that's not on that level, and it's not something that we would be like, ah, I we would discourage you completely from it. I'd say a seven to 7.5. I, I think we're gonna give that a little bit of a range, yes. Yeah. And the, the reason why I wanna give that range is I don't mind the smell of cinnamon, I don't. But cinnamon is one of those scents you have to yeah. be careful. You have to like it too. And yes. like I said, like we said, is you'd have to, if you pulled it back just a little bit. Yes, absolutely. If you pulled back just a little bit, Normally, like we we want a long-lasting, strong scent, but we need you guys just to pull it back just a little bit. Yeah, because it's. I wouldn't even say strong scent. I would say overpowering, because when we did use this, we went into beyond work hours, and our beard still smelled like cinnamon, and that's kind of good, but not a hint of cinnamon it basically like whole cinnamon powder and we just and yeah. like like we said not just cinnamon cinnamon whiskey which 
Can we do it? <clears throat> exactly. Yeah. Sorry, but so on that on that note, I think we should probably be done. Like I said, about seven, seven point five. Just give them a little bit of a range. <clears throat> uh, price for the volume, maybe yeah. come down a little bit. There we go again. Uh, but other than that, I mean, it wasn't too bad. No. There, to there are that. worse, and there are definitely better. Let's see the wall. Oh, speaking of the wall. Oh. We have uh, some art by my daughter up here. And yes, that is her, and it was freehand. Yeah. So, by the way, I know putting you off, but thank you guys anyways. Yeah, she had to ask to put the, she had to ask the director to put that up. <laughs> so the director makes the calls. Yes. Where do you, the two chuckleheads going? Okay. Tweedledee, Tweedledum. <laughs> yeah. So on that, guys, that note, guys. Good save. I'm Sean. I'm Jason. We are the Hornbury Brothers. And together, we help it grow. So, score.